The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi folks, Basil Chapman, brand new week. I just want you to show this immediately. This is the ESH24. This is the 10-minute um, E-mini chart for uh, uh, March futures. What I'd said about, uh, I think it was around the 22nd or 23rd of this month, I said from this narrow uh, rectangle formation, as I see it, I'm going to draw a midpoint line. I don't always do it, but there are some, some times where the pattern becomes so visually obvious that I say, okay, I'm going to make this the midpoint right here. And I say this level of 5100, uh, it could be 5101, but 5100 um, is going to be the magnet line. It's a kind of not a magnet line as, as the 200 period moving averages. This is a magnet line that says, um, it could be a focal point, both upside and downside, for a little while. Well, lo and behold, you were under it, then you were over it, and then all of a sudden, um, last night, I guess it was after the 225, so that was last night at 6 o'clock, there was a dip, and you can see the blue line. Um, yeah, I got the Fibonacci there, but this is the pink line. It's really that same rectangle that I'm continuing all the way through, and to show you what I'm really talking about, there's that line at uh, 5,100. Oh, I can't put it further. That's right. There. And look how many times we've touched it. Here's the 200 period moving average. Look how beautiful it has been as support. But look at that. Wiggle like a sine wave over and under and over and under that 5,100. So we we'll keep it there and see how long that lasts is an important, at least in the very short term, I think it's really important. Let's get out of that one. I wanted to show you is this. Um, all right, here. so the, the, I got a, a, an email uh, to have a look at Boyd Company, H shares. This is a Chinese EV company. And my, my contention has been they are the, maybe in the world, I'm not sure, but they are one of the highest, certainly in China, where if it's China, then it's probably the world. Um, highest number of selling electric vehicles well it went from the 40 uh, this has uh, four zeros after that but let's just call it 40 right here the high that was made back in june of 2022 and uh, opens a, the, the round number was a 35 low and the high was 43.61 right this in june of 2022 so the um 45 level sees a drop by half it comes down to the 21 42, 21, 29 level in uh, November of 2022. Then it makes the arch formation. And what I said was, if it takes in this chap where dreaded H pattern, looks like an H, see, lowercase H, arch formation fails at a B. If it takes and closes on a monthly basis below 21, 29, 21, I'm going to make it 21, 0, 0. If it closes under that, that's not very good action at all. Otherwise, this could become an arch formation that becomes a very favorable U-shaped pattern, if it uh, at some point closes above the high, in this case, 35, 20, uh, 36, 27. That's the high of the 7th of uh, 2023. That's July. Well, it's trying to come off the low. And I said, look, it's closed under the, when I looked at it just recently, I said it went closed under the 200-period uh, moving average in the, in the weekly chart. And if this is the biggest seller, it's not doing that well. Now that it's made this low at 21.80 to 1.80 and trading right now to 4.33, I think there's a chance that it could do quite a bit of work to the upside, uh, especially if the FX side, let me get to the FX side in a minute, which is the large cap, uh, the two separate things entirely. This is a large cap Chinese uh, ETF, and the boy, I don't believe BYD is in it, but I wanted to say that, look, it's trying to fill this gap again. And it did it once, it didn't close above it, but it's trying to do it again. If we can get to the 50 period moving average of 25.10 this week, without taking out 20, uh, what's the low today? To low, today's low is 23.76. Without taking 23.20 out, 
I'd say that that's really good. So if the question was, where is BYD going? This is not this is not uh, Boyd. Uh, that's what's that? Is that the um, Boyd? 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 Yeah, BYD. This is BYD Company Limited, a Chinese company. And I'm just saying to you that this there's a good chance that there could be a pretty decent rebound, and that the 200 period moving average of 25.57. I don't know whether that's going to be a repellent or a propellant because if it breaks above it, but that is your target. It happens to coincide exactly with the weekly uh, 14 period, black 14 period exponential moving average. So just keep that in mind. Those are the levels that I'm looking at. Let's go to the market. So I'm I'm anticipating we're going to give you some, see some kind of a kind of profit taking. I don't know how severe just yet. Remember, this is really important because to have the market go into a sell signal and then a sell mode. You, you, I just don't see how you can do it unless you've got bad news and the market responds by dropping 58 to 62 points for two consecutive or more for two consecutive days in the um, futures or it could be the S&P and at least 370 to 420 for two days. Once that happens, you've really knocked out all those those uh, people that have been buying up at this level right now um, who don't have any protection and just say, I like this for the long term and they're going to, it's not going to be pleasant. For instance, I can't say that this is going to happen, but believe me, it is on my list of things to watch. It's really important. Arm Holdings had a round number 164 high about two and a half weeks ago. It then pulled back to 100, that was 117 round number, but the low was 115.49. Now, today it opened at 139.00. It's trading sharply above it at 147. Uh, it could have a rectangle, it could retest that high. And what I'd said is, for, for people who had asked me, I said, as far as I can see it, it's really important to take a little bit of profit on all of these big moves up at least take something off. Yes, it can go back and go even higher. It's only a leg A in the monthly chart. I suspect it's going to go to a D in 2024, into maybe even 2025. Who knows? But at this particular point, I would consider it not good money management to at least take something off. You know, you could have taken off at 160 in the 160s and put something back in the 120s, and here it is at 130. So all I'm saying, money management just said to me, that was my answer there. And if you're looking at NVIDIA, so I'll talk about the round numbers in a minute because I do believe I need to keep notating them and see exactly what happens. I've never seen this number, so I don't have any history other than most of the time when I've seen round numbers at either all-time highs or re yearly recovery highs, that's usually a signal to say that someone got left holding the bag. That was, I think that was a Joe Granville expression, holding the bag. And that just means you stuck with this, right? Well, 823 was the high, 823.94 was the high two sessions ago. Today it opened at 797 and it's trading at 794. Um, so it's a little bit lower than that. But all I'm saying is that I can't tell you right now, but by the sec by the third week of March, when I'm looking at this, I would not be surprised at all if most of these really big high flyers with the round numbers are trading quite a bit underneath. Not a big sell signal, but pretty much underneath these, the round numbers that they've been achieving lately. I'll be back. I'm expecting some pullback today. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 
45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. So let me just go on here. And a couple of people asked me over the weekend, and I've been doing quite a bit uh, of work on this, about the IWM, the Russell 2000. So the ISHA is Russell 2000 ETF. The IWM is trading at 200.73, up 85 cents. It's kind of stuck in the higher part of its range in the daily and weekly charts, but it's still 244.46, back at high, all-time high, November of 2021. It comes down to the 160s, tests that three times. It's done that over the past year, uh, actually year and a half. And now it's pushing up to towards that rectangle, the highs of it. There's no question in a market like this that at some point the small caps – but it's the small cap 2000s that is going to be very important. But wait a minute. Small cap, you've got uh, um, Super Microcomputer, ELF. This is to, so SMCI. Uh, had an all-time high of 1,077.87. Drops to uh, 700, just under 700 in, in, two, in two days. And uh, from making a high to that low, and then bounces up, makes a 995 round number high. Today, the, uh, did I put it in? It had an 830.02 round, no, it had an 832.02 .02 low. There was a moment where it had an 834 round number high. That got taken, certainly got taken out. Well, well no, sorry, that was on Friday. So today's high is, 895.96 is trading at 861.63. SMCI in the IWF, ELF, an incredible stock. Look at this. ELF made an all-time high. We were talking about Ulta, and I kept saying, Ulta Beauty, Ulta Beauty. Look at this. It's amazing you know, fashion. Uh, people don't give up their, their, their creams and all that until times get really bad and you can't afford it. So this is usually the last to turn down. And then suddenly, out of the blue, 560.60 in May of 2023, what happens? <laughs> oh, man, it drops in one month. It dropped from the 560 level down to the low 400s, just about 400, Try to rally, bounced to the uh, just about 500, and it came down to the most recent low of about three in the 350, 360 area. And all of a sudden, it's had this huge move now 
I'm going to call this, this is, for those of you who use Chapman Wave methodology, look, this is a low with an up arrow because bicycle is obviously in a buy mode. MACD, everything's very strong. Stochastic is at 97.58%. When I get this, I automatically do, look, this is just a fraction, 417.41. This is ULTA, U-L-T-A is a symbol, up 3.46 today at 553.24. Well, the week of the 17th of November of last year, it hit 417.41. The next week at 4.17.98. <clears throat> Maybe that's just a couple of pennies more than I'd normally do. But just to be safe and to be ahead, I always call this, I would call that an A, but I'd make it a red A, saying that's a phantom peak. It's not real in the Chamberlain methodology, but it's real for me visually because it makes more sense that this is, uh, that, that with a move up so sharp, that there was some, if you can see a flicker, which I can see right there in the unbalanced volume, I say you can take it as a phantom peak. Why? It's good to be ahead of the game because this I've got writing now as a leg C. Uh, it hasn't quite made a new high. 553.74 is today's high. Um, and on Friday's high, it was 553.65. So we've made a new high. So, yeah, this is a leg C, but it's basically a phantom C because it's really a B. But I like to be ahead. Not only that, you had the previous high, major high of 560.60, right? And here we are at 553.74. We're just an eye blink away from testing the all-time high in a beautiful U-shaped pattern. And they're calling this a $553 stock at mid-cap. Anyway, that's the way things go because eventually mid caps sometimes get so over bloated they have to be pushed into a higher category. But they stay there for quite a while. So that's Ulta Beauty. And let me just show you something in the daily chart. Look, here we go. Oops. There we go. That's an A. There. That's an A. That's a little A right there because it's under the previous A. So I'll call that a gray A. I'm not going to do it right now. That becomes a B, an overlapping B. That's really good. Then it goes to a C right there, a D right there, and it's in an E. It even could be an instant restart, but my suspicion is we're going to have a little bit of a pullback here that that'll prove maybe goes to an F even, but it will come back towards the, the 540 area and it's trading at 554.45. Uh, so I just wanted to show you something because I'm, I was thinking I like the IWM, the whole idea, MSTR, the whole idea of um, – the rotation and that buyers are going to come into the small caps at some point. But it's not the small caps, it's the small cap 2000. Why? Because you've got these stocks. Here's MicroStrategy. I believe it's MicroStrategy. Yep, MicroStrategy is number three at 0.34% of the holdings. And look at this. This is amazing. It's just about to go to a leg D in the daily chart. But it's at 786. And these are called small caps. But the price doesn't mean that it's not a small cap. It's just that they never split. But I suspect we're going to go into a phase in 2024 where splits become the thing once again, like we saw back in 2000. Oh, and then we're going to see the fun. Now, um, there are comfort systems. I did comfort. I know I did that. Comfort systems. I don't know what the symbol is. Well, let me see with the C if I've got it from the weekend. I did a whole bunch of stuff. Now, all right, I'll, just type, I'll do one more. Comfort systems. Let's see what that is. Uh, C O M F O R T systems, and it's oh, that's right, fix. I did it. I knew I, I did this. I thought, what a what a great name! Look, there it is. I did it over the weekend. Comfort Systems USA, heating, ventilation, air pipes, controls. Man, that is America. That is America on fire. Look at this, all time high on Friday. Isn't that? Whew, that's amazing, right? So. I'm looking for round numbers, round numbers. It hit 292.41, all-time high on Friday, fixes the symbol. And today, uh, let's just see, any round numbers? No round numbers yet, but it's having a very nice session. It's up uh, $1.58 and 280 points. So I want you to point out, because I, I said to subscribers, I, I don't want to just go into ETFs. So we have a couple, I, and it's very important because I want it to be generic. I, I, I didn't feel comfortable enough that I could actually choose specific stocks in those groups. But we have got stocks that 
are very independent. So in that particular instance, I'm looking at the IWM, and then I thought over the weekend, let's see, the, earlier this week, what's working in the... Um, What's working in the IWM? Well, I don't want to. I I don't see any reason why we should pay five hundred and something for a stock to go from five hundred and something to six hundred and something, where I could probably find much lower price stocks that could do move the same percentage. So that's really what I'm looking for. But now you have to really look at this very closely to see what's really working, and that's what I'll be doing because I believe we have to now move into. Some categories, we, we are already under the radar with some categories, meaning we're in some stocks that are not on everyone's radar. And they seem to be holding well and seem to be working okay. And uh, that's important to me. I want to be in, like we've got the Microsoft, I want to be in the, the heavies, but I also want to be in underlings and see what they can do in the next few weeks. And I'm going to spend, there is going to be some March, consolidation in some areas, not all. And that's why going short is going to be very difficult. I'll be back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Yeah, I don't want to make it too complex for those who use Chapman Wave and ask me to show you every once in a while when I get a Chapman Wave unconventional flat base restart. There's this peak D right here. I have to take away that rectangle. Just consider this is a potential east, uh, instant restart. So it went to EFG, then it keeps coming back, and then it took out this left side low, but then it ran back up again. But everything about this character right here says there's a chance that it's an instant restart and that we should come back and test 
uh, this particular low right here of 5,095.25, if this is, if I'm correct about the pattern. So we'll see about that. And right now, oh, just started to slide is at 5,098. Okay, so yeah, we, let me just finish up here. What I want to show you is the, the IWB. Now this is, isn't this fascinating? The IWB is the Russell 1000 ETF. And it's in an alternate count. I've got this as a G slash C in the in the daily chart. And almost all of these charts are becoming extremely extended no matter how you count the waves. It doesn't matter. But looking at the on-balance volume, looking at a number of aspects, just to say, even if it's just a breather, a pullback, um, it could then take a little time. So this is at 279.44, the all-time high uh, was this morning. And oh, it was on Friday. <clears throat> so 279.49, and the all-time high was Friday at 2, uh, 280.56. Uh, peak G slash C could be one more little pop, maybe pulls back today, and then one little pop up this week. And then it could pull back. And the reason why I say I, I'm talking about pullbacks, I don't talk about a major decline, is that this is a leg B in the weekly chart. And the technicals with the stochastic flag, you see the stochastic in the daily start to pull back. That says it's gone from the 90-something 90, 90 percent. There's a chance it could have a, a digestive phase that goes to the 20 or under 20 percent. That will impact the weekly chart, but at 96 and flat, you could have the daily pull back, but the weekly might not go under 80 percent. or might break there for just a moment and then come back. So I'm looking at this and saying this is really bullish. The IWB, the Russell iShares, Russell 1000 ETF, all-time high leg D in the monthly. It's a little extended in notation of the Chapman wave. What was the other one? IWC? Did I even do it? Yes, IWC is the iShares micro cap ETF. This is not doing as well as the others at a, at a triple top way back in 2021, up near 159, almost 160. Um, even made a double top in the in the uh, at 118 or so in the, in the daily chart. And it's got a peak C and it hasn't gone to a peak D yet in the daily. And this is the ISIS micro cap. I don't know if I've re. Yes, and the, I, the mid caps, the SP. This is a leg D unfolding in the daily, in the monthly chart. 533.57, October of 2021. Pulls back to the 400 level. Now it's in leg D. <clears throat> hasn't taken it out. It's at 522, about 11 points away. The daily, the weekly chart has gone to a leg. Whoops, there it is. Remember, the middle chart is the weekly chart, and it's gone to a leg D, right? And you've got a little bit of a struggle at leg D going on here <clears throat> in the daily. And that previous peak D had a pullback. I wouldn't be surprised if this peak D, when it finally comes this week, has a bit of a pullback. So all I'm saying is that just be ready for some kind of a digestive phase, but a rotational one. And it could be that as this one, as maybe the the incredible uh, Mag Seven type stocks have been soaring, so you, you when they have a bit of a pullback, it could include many of the other groups. But there are some that are ready to take up the slack. That's the way I'm looking at. Uh, I wanted to do one other thing. Uh, let's see. Question came in here. Uh, yeah, did Basil discuss arm? Yes, I did. I said Arm is um, had had made a round number today, a round number low, yet another one, 139 open, and yet here it is at 147. But most importantly, the monthly chart suggests that over the months, this is going to go to higher highs. It's only in leg A, brand new leg A, IPO back in 2023, pulled back to the 40s, 4650 actually. And uh, on the way up, it's had a couple of round numbers even in the monthly chart, but only it's only had one, two, three, four, five, six, about six or seven months. This is a leg A. But right now I'm saying I'm anticipating some kind of a digestive phase. But the, the reason why I spoke about on oh, that 164 round number high, all time high that it made about two and a half weeks ago, my thinking was that at the time I'd said, take some money off, keep your core position. It's a fantastic, I mean, it's a great company. I think they, they license um, some of the, the chips and that's, I mean, it's, it's like a cash cow, I guess. I don't know. But that, I, I just said, take some money off. It's really important for money management. And then it dropped to 115, 160, 50 points. I'd say that that's, a, what, 30-something. So that's a pretty big percentage 
uh, pull back. All right now, I want to get to the gold. No, I haven't finished the. Um, yes, I will go to gold. Gold right now is down 14. Ah, I can't believe how long I've been saying it's just stuck in a range, and I don't see any. I don't see a catalyst for a really big move up. Why? Because the the Bitcoin. I I think that Robin Hood. The uh, broker company, brokerage company, is telling us that the the clients that want to go for the want to be trading. That's what they do. Gold is stuck. When something's stuck, people just move on. That's all. And they're going to uh, Bitcoin. And when Bitcoin stalls, and I think it's getting close to at least having a bit of a breather. It still looks great. I mean, the technicals and the daily, the weekly, and legs seen the monthly all say, "Hey, great." But the very shorter term technicals are saying, just don't be surprised if there's a pullback between 50,000 and 48,000. Yeah, we are talking about 50 and 48,000 again. Amazing. All right. So I wanted to go to silver just to explain why. My, oh, and the other thing is that the Mideast turmoil, um, I've spoken about this for months. I said, I don't think that this is where gold becomes the go to uh, um, insurance policy. It's a different war. It's a different thing altogether. And therefore, and that's the reason why um, I, I don't see that big spike in gold holding that it initially had. And that's kind of what we're seeing. So it's, it's a separate thing. And, and money will come back, but it'll come back when it's more a viable entity to be trading. That's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, so there's Bitcoin. I want to look at silver. Silver didn't do all that. Silver is SI. is a continuous contract. Silver. It's just stuck. It's, it, at different times, there's a better chart pattern than gold. Other times, it's worse. Right now, it's just kind of stuck. And look at the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. It just keeps pulling back and pulling back every time it gets there. So silver's not anything. High-grade copper, yes. I'll look at high-grade copper. High-grade copper's pulling back. And that's it's very interesting because it goes together. I like to put the two together. This is copper. This is Dr. Copper. That's world. Uh, economies, that's why we, we look at copper. But look at iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, almost the same. It was fantastic, now it's pulling back. And it's just kind of digesting gains and not doing very much. All right, enough of that. I think people want to actually know um, what's going on the TLT. It's very important. TLT is down 28 cents at 93.59. As I see it, you know, stuck is, stuck is a technical term in the market that, that I've found is, is very useful to keep in your mind because it's a, a no trade sometimes. And the bond's really being stuck. On a short term position, I, I would say going from 82 to uh, almost 100 or touching 100.57, that's a big percentage. But in the big picture, I just say right now it's kind of stuck. Not too. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. I was asked if I look at, and I didn't have the symbol, it's called the COCC, but actually, I do have it. I recognize immediately that must be the uh, the month that, uh, for the cocoa. But I've got the cocoa continuous contract. This is uh, not an actual the actual month. This is a continuous contract amalgam of the different months. And basically, yes, I noted that in one of my shows recently. I said, wow, I don't know what's going to happen to the price of coffee if cocoa is going, I mean, because you know, they're connected, uh, has gone parabolically higher. Look at that. That is parabolic in the in the in the daily and the weekly, not the monthly. It's it is becoming parabolic. But two months, I don't, I consider that you want time as well as price. But certainly it's vertical. I mean, just uh, back at the beginning of the year, we were trading at four thousand, and now you're up fifty and a half percent, over fifty percent is sixty three ninety four. Um, this is to me, uh, it, it is a sign of. Um, in, I don't know how to explain this. So my DBA, which is the DBA agricultural fund, which subscribers have from about 13 straight right now, 22.23 for a long time. Um, and I haven't done anything because I keep looking at the grains. Look, the grains, uh, look at this horrible. Look at that chart. Look at the daily, weekly, monthly. Yuck. Look at the S of the soybeans. Oh, that's worse than yuck. It's going to the low of uh, 2022 at about uh, 1,000. And it's trading at one one three one after peak D in the monthly, which is really good to see. But look what's happened since. Look at the corn. Corn's even worse. Look at uh, soybeans. So when I was going through that, I thought, why? Surely we should start seeing deflation in the stores. Well, if you look at um, the XLP, I'm coming back to coffee. If you look, oh, coming back to something. Let me just say that the reason why I was looking at Elf. And spoke about it was Alpha was in the IWM. The reason why I brought Alta was that Alta, the chart, because they're both in the beauty area, uh, Alpha's beauty products, um, had that incredible move. And I said, what's going on with, uh, with uh, Alta, Alta? And then it had that huge smash to the downside. And uh, then I said, a few days later, I said, oh, now I see what's going on. Alpha is taking its place. And then Alpha, that huge move down, then it came back. And now it's had a spectacular move to the upside. Now, I, I wasn't saying um, Alta was in the mid-cap, uh, mid sorry, in the IWM. I had no idea, but I did see Elf was, and I just put the two together. So look at this. This is the X. Yeah, why am I doing this? No, I didn't want this. I'll get to it in a moment. Um, I want you to show you, for instance, GIS. This is General Mills. Look what happened. It made an all-time high in about 90 early 2023, and now it's trading after a decent bounce. It's still trading only at 65. So when finally <clears throat> all these products on the shelves, see it, you know, it's like oil when the prices go up even by a, a fraction within sale. Of course, they do it electronically now, but they used to have this guy up on a ladder putting in the price within five minutes. Uh, the boss would say, get that price up. And then the price, when the prices come down, they just 
I don't know what it is. They just couldn't find the letter. It was just so hard. Well, this is the same thing here that these guys, General Mills, Cheerios, Annie's, and other food, foods, they just can't find the ladder to do where it's actually this way. It's there, the rope to go down the ladder because um, uh, that's the way it is in the business, right? You hold off the the the, the, um, the price declines as long as you can. You keep the, the, the inclines as much as you can. Anyway, so with that said, yes, coffee, uh, uh, KC, is that KC? Yeah, KC. So KC has been, this is coffee, continuous contract. Uh, trading at 181. It's just kind of trapped. Uh, this is a potential dreaded H in the weekly chart, but it's up at the higher level of the weekly, but not the monthly. It's in, not, it's in the kind of just under a half, not even a third, but it's towards the half uh, of the 238-ish area, you know, 22 high of the 2022 high and 125, say, are low. So it's different. So they're all doing different things. And that's what I was saying. I how I'd said coffee and cocoa sometimes go together because there's you know, extracts and all that. But in fact, the one is look, here it is. CC is incredible to the moon, right? And coffee is not doing the same thing yet. Um, We'll see what happens with coffee uh, products and coffee prices. All right, so here we go. Within the uh, within the context of what we were looking at, oh, and OJ, you wanted me to look at OJ? Yes, OJ, I haven't updated it for my notations for a little while. Ha, 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 look at that. Peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, E, and then an A, B, C, so that's an alternate count. Oh, ho, ho, so that... Is a D right there? It's pulled back, hit the 14 period moving average. So oranges had a spectacular run. I must say, some of the oranges this year have been just beautiful. I had I bought a couple over the weekend. Um, just I love oranges. Beautiful, beautiful oranges. Last year we didn't have good oranges. Anyway, so orange juice is up there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, now the question came in. Where did I find my questions here? The question came in. Could I look at? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh yes. Uh, Tesla. So I was looking at Boyd, a uh, buy, buy, BYD, bid. Uh, that's the Chinese company. BYD, DF is the way I get it. And Tesla's having a nice day today, up seven at 199. So you see these three blue lines. You see how the, it was just this beautiful pattern. It's a Chapman wave. There's that falling X formation, the arch formation that fails, takes out the left side low, and 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 it did it again. This time it went to a C, and then a pull back. At the 200 period moving average, so I'd say that I, I believe that Tesla is holding well, even though it's down quite sharply. I think considering what's going on, what I'm reading about in electric uh, or the EV sector, and what I can see from ads that I'm looking at, I think there's a little bit more of bargaining that you didn't have before in the EV sector. But I think that's still very popular. Why, if they could get that. Uh, the recharging to be much, much higher. In other words, if you could go 800 to 1,000 miles, I think they've almost resolved the problem there because that, that's, that is really good. Then I'd consider it. But if I'm going to New York and back, I'm not going to hunt around somewhere for a, for a charging. I mean, I love the idea of electric. I love the electric, everything about it. But no, nah, I'm not going to uh, not get it until I know that I can go longer distances without having to find a charger. All right. With that said, what I was, what was I looking at? I'm looking at, oh, didn't finish uh, this. So I just think it's stuck. You see that gap? It hasn't really filled the gap. It's gone into the gap. I just suspect that Tesla is going to this 200 period moving average in the weekly chart of uh, 199. Let's call it 200. I just think it's going to wiggle around 200 up and down and up and down. So with that said, um, the question came in, Yeah, what, what about your market overview? So my market overview is this. Within the context of what I consider rotational and very selective uh, rotational in there, and we saw that through the IWM, the difference in the Russell 2000 and the difference between that and the 1000, um, I believe that Investors will be looking, I'm talking about not just investors, I'm, I think we're talking about uh, fund managers, and I don't think uh, hedge funds as much as fund managers 
are going to be looking at the laggings at a certain, going into March, maybe even April. And that's where I think that we'll see some kind of rotation. And when that money starts to come in, some of the money has to come out. And it might be coming out of these really very strong moves in, in the high, high. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So the further away in the E-mini, the ES, uh, we push it down from 5,100, the closer we get to the 5093 level, which is the 200 period exponential moving average. That I think is the magnet that's going to be if we drop uh, just a little bit lower. Uh, okay, with that said, I just want so yeah, cocoa and coffee, separate things. 
But uh, in terms of the commodities, uh, that's uh, there's a big difference. That's number one. I, I was I see in the in the Tiger YouTube. So that has to do with crops back in West Africa. Another question came in. Yeah. So if anybody's got chocolate the, uh, over the last uh, three four months, you'll know that the chocolate prices have really gone up a lot. Um, okay. Uh, mentioned in the uh, den was a P A N W. That's Palo Alto Networks had a huge shock to the downside. Three eighty point eighty eight is the high just a couple of weeks ago. And smash it, gaps down, and it goes down to 260. 120 points is like gets cut by a third uh, round number high, low of 265 the next day, and here it is 307. Very nice bounce. Hey, stay tuned for Steve Rose. Check out my open call daily newsletter, and I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. Great programming.